And tonight, a marriage Hurricane Matthew could not stop. We found a couple who decided to seek higher and drier ground for their wedding, leaving a Georgia island and coming here to Birmingham. And it is not an easy task for a wedding planned for this Saturday. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens shows us how they are getting it done, though, Brittany. Well, Sherry, I met this couple. It's Edwina Rogers and Greg Niemeyer. Just after they got their Alabama marriage license with 20 minutes to spare before that office shut down for the weekend, they told me it's been a whirlwind since they found out their dream wedding venue was evacuated for the hurricane, but an adventure they won't forget. So, do we have everything planned so far? Uh, you know, as far as I know. Edwina Rogers and Greg Niemeyer spent two years planning the perfect island wedding. Now they're recreating it 460 miles away in Birmingham in under a day. You had stayed at the Westin one time before, and so we, we called the Westin and said, Oh, uh, can we have a wedding there Saturday night? And they're like, uh, uh, You're kidding, aren't you? And we're like, No. They're trading torrential rains for sunny skies and seafood for barbecue. And we just found out today that we're referred to as a pop-up wedding, and we are the pop-up bride and the pop-up groom if you plan it in less than seven days. But they've been, I mean, they, their hospitality has been absolutely remarkable. I mean, just absolutely extraordinary. They're just like instant wedding planners. And within 12 hours, they managed to get us a violinist and... Uh, you know, everything imaginable from a DJ, a DJ to the uh, photographer. And... Even if it's not what they expected, they tell me they couldn't wait another day to start their lives together. I think there's only two places in the United States that this can happen. Number one in Las Vegas, number two in Birmingham, where you can just create an instant wedding, lock, stock, and barrel, one-stop shopping in a 12-hour period. And they say they chose Birmingham because it's a central location to a lot of their guests, and several of them do live here. 30, in fact, of the original 50 guests will be at that Magic City wedding tomorrow. Live in the studio, Brittany Bivens, CBS 418 News.